So do I have a surprise for you today? It's a rather forgotten if not quirky or rare Android device. The LG Optimus 4X HD. Quite a mouthful and honestly I don't really know the reasoning behind this moniker. What I do know though is that this is a flagship LG Android phone from way back in 2012. This thing is 10 years old already. But enough nostalgia, let's see what the old toy has to offer and maybe try to answer some intriguing queries such as could it still be a relevant device today? Does it have some sort of quirky collectible factor? Would you consider this an object of, of desire or just a weird relic from the past? Well, this is the beginning of, I don't know, quirky edgy boxes. Uh, they open up quite nicely. It has a sandwich design. Actually, I just realized this thing is called the LG P880. The 4X HD uh, moniker seems to be more of a marketing marketing thing but anyway let's open the box here's the device quite predictably it's a fingerprint magnet but let's put it away and see what we get inside the box there was also this uh, nifty looking charger uh, pad which I still own uh, all these years later a brand new unopened uh, set of um, headphones with a jack connector, some booklets, um, an NFC sticker, whatever this is, an LG tag, and I guess that's about it. Some sort of piece, sheets of information, some sort of pieces of paper I don't really care for. So let's put the box away and concentrate on the device itself. Let's start with build quality first. Well, it's plastic fantastic all the way. Though I must admit the fit and finish is exemplary. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, the shiny chrome bits really look like they would be metal, though this is not your typical metal and glass sandwich design. Actually the plastic, the frame is all plastic and you can see if you try to force it just a bit, mm, the device creaks. It won't break that easily but it's not really confidence inspiring. Again, less than um, maybe average quality materials but impeccable fit and finish. This is the back. This is still uh, this phone is still from an era where when batteries used to be removable. It has a SIM card slot and quite predictably an SD card slot though this is missing from most of today's devices. It does not however have water or ingress protection so it's just a plain old device in that regard. On top of the screen there's a Corning Gorilla uh, glass protection, though it's a first generation it's not really called anything other than the Corning Gorilla. Uh, it's one of the earliest applications of this type. Also there's capacitive buttons integrated into the front touch screen. So let's just turn it on. This guy might take some time. There we go. Okay, so I seem to have started this thing at all. Let's talk some more about performance and um, options. It has a true HD 4.7 inch IPS LCD with, 400, with 720p resolution. And since we're speaking tech, let's look at other performance features. 1.5 GHz quad-core Cortex-A9 CPU, but alas, with only 1 GB of RAM. Uh, there's also a ULP GeForce 2 GPU NVIDIA Tegra chipset, and unfortunately for me, this thing does not want to run. 
and I know why that is. It had it tended to overheat, it had overheating problems, but I have a hack for that and let me try it. At any rate, while I was uh, ranting on about this phone's features, uh, it had suddenly occurred to me that this is the reason why I stopped or my wife had stopped using it, is using it. It's got an overheating problem, so let's move fast. I have applied a hack. I put it in the freezer for a few minutes. I don't know if this will work, so let's just try to move things along and see whether I can show you what the LG P80 880 Optimus 4X HD has to offer. So here we go. I started it up. It should be in working condition for a few minutes anyway. So let's talk about the long list of features. After all, uh, it was supposed to compete with the Galaxy S3. So LG had to bring all its bells and whistles to the ga game. Handling this device today, I must say, it feels a bit, well, underwhelming. The plastic uh, finish is not that great. The screen dimension is rather, uh, well, it's not uh, appropriate after we've been used with today's giant flagship screens like this beautiful AMOLED on my S20. But I guess that's the price of um, progress. This particular example seems to have the overheating issue and as I've said it tends to shut down or at the very least reset after about 19 minutes of even standby, not necessarily usage. I don't really plan to repair it if that's what you're thinking. I'd just keep it as an oddball member of my sort of tech collection. You know, you still could have some fun with it and revisit it from time and again. As you can see right now, the uh, even though the battery is low, let me just quickly grab the charger and plug it in so I can show you a couple of features, hopefully. It's still an oddball quirky thing that I like to keep as a memento. It's not in a great working condition, mind you, but uh, that's what we have to work with. Uh, this is the basic menu because I've reset it. The, I've reset the device. Let me just open the camera and see what it has to offer. Quite laggy, but I guess that could be also the reason. But I guess that could be also because I put it in the freezer. Uh, from what I can tell, the camera is not that great. It does have autofocus, though it's slow to focus. Let me just take this mouse and take a picture of... Yeah, there we go. So I took a picture. Um, it's overexposed even though it's in uh, automatic mode. Let me just see if it loads up. Yeah, so really bad camera. No. To answer this... Um, Query, no, you could not consider this in 2022. I guess that's a bit obvious. Uh, the screen itself is IPS, so that's a plus, but really the apps and everything is just way too obsolete to, to even take into consideration, even as a second phone or what have you. So let me just try to fumble around here and see if I can get some more info on this phone. So Android version 4.0.3. Um, not much else, mind you. Um, battery is still working, though that overheating issue really is a deal breaker for this. I had planned to uh, extend my um, my review, but sad to say I'm not able to do that. 
but uh, really you could have some fun modding or at least reminiscing about this device while adding it to your collection of old forgotten and quirky gadgets. Or better yet, you could hit that like and subscribe button to my channel as I tend to buy these useless quirky stuff myself so you don't have to. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.